So welcome to Beards and Baseball, because i got a pretty sweet beard and we love talking about baseball. Now in the world of baseball over the last few days, some pretty big stories have occurred. If you haven't heard, there are two main stories that happen. We'll focus on one today and on the other tomorrow. So today let's focus on King Felix. If you haven't heard, Felix Hernandez became the 23rd pitcher in Major League history to throw a perfect game two days ago against the Tampa Rays up in Safeco Field in Seattle, 27 up, 27 down. And so we look at this, and it's an amazing feat. There's only been 23 in the history of baseball. But over the last five years, there have been five no-hitters. No, not even no-hitters. There have been five perfect games. And over the first over 100 years of baseball, there were only 18. Now, that ratio doesn't really line up. I would actually attribute this to the fact that steroids are making their way out of baseball. Now, when I say that, we also have idiots like Melky Cabrera, who gets busted for, uh, for steroids and is suspended for 50 games. But we will talk about Melky tomorrow. Today, let's focus on Felix Hernandez. There's an article on Fangraphs.com that talks about those last five pitchers to throw a perfect game. And which of those five was the hardest to do? It's a really interesting article, and it brings up a good point. So we have Roy Halladay, Dallas Braden, Mark Burley, Philip Humber, who that was kind of a fluke in my opinion, and then you've got Felix Hernandez. Which of those five games was the hardest? Now, Fangraphs goes into where the park was. Was it a day game after a night game? Who was the lineup that they faced? When did it happen? And all of these different things in terms of uh, the performance of the pitcher. And they rank those five in order. And for them, they say that Mark Burley's perfect game in 09 against the Rays was actually the toughest to do. In my opinion, there have been more impressive performances like Roy Halladay's and even King Felix's two days ago. The man struck out 12 people. He didn't throw an 85 mile an hour change up, get you to dink it to him and throw it to first. So really the, I, the answer is, all of them were amazing, but let's, let's bring it up for discussion. Which of those five do you think would have been the toughest to do?